Hello, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. Anybody who has, thank you. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this video, as well as the link in the bio. I have many different options. If you would like to enter to win a $100 giveaway, you can do that by entering blessings in the comment section down below, liking and subscribing. But Scorpio, if you're doing well for yourself, let's pass this forward to our family members who could use that extra come up. Everybody, though, anybody is welcome to enter to win a free half hour FaceTime reading with moi by entering readings in the comment section down below, liking and subscribing. I will be drawing that on June 30th, so we will be drawing that very, very soon. With that being said, let's hop directly into this energy. We are going to see how is your person feeling, what is going on in their energy, and we are going to today do... How is Scorpio feeling about Scorpio? Aries feeling about Scorpio, Taurus, and so on and so forth. So with that being said, let's hop directly into this. I thought we would switch her up a little bit because you all know me. I like to try different things. Let's see. What is going on in this person's energy? How are they feeling currently about Scorpio? How's the person on Scorpio's mind, feeling, spirit? hypnotized baby this person uh, they feel you're hard to resist they feel like uh you've hypnotized them this person could feel like you've done black magic on them they could feel like you've done something to them because they are consumed with thought feeling a lot of regret remorse wanting to undo the damage this is somebody here who has done a lot of damage to y'all's connection, a lot of damage to you. I mean, they could have really, really put you through the ringer, Scorpio, really hurt you bad. And I feel like they, they want to undo it. For some of you here, this person has been taking no action in love. They've, they've been single for a long time because they don't do well with commitment. They're possibly in a dry spell. I feel that they are exploring options, but they have fear of choosing wrong, so they don't commit to anybody. For some of you, for others, you, you've been having a dry spell. You haven't really been seeing anybody, and this person's got options. They see a lot of people. It just depends on where you are in this scenario. This person could feel like you're not having sex with anybody else, that you're only, you know, you're waiting for them. Oh, boy. See, I feel, Scorp, um, there's been a very strong karmic cycle here. A lot of you, this person feels that you put black magic on them. They feel like you have cursed them. I felt this. They feel like maybe they've had a string of really bad luck and you are the one who has done something to them. So um, for some of you, I hope you didn't do that. I don't, most of you did not, but you may have done some kind of black magic or be sending some evil eye because this person really hurt you. They do feel for you. They do love you. The feelings are mutual between the two of you. This person is living in regret, feeling as if perhaps um, you know, dealing with children or you all have children together, you awaken something inside of them. For most of you, the reason why this person feels cursed, the reason why they feel like they can't get their mind off you is because you opened up their heart chakra. There was a heart chakra activation and this person you know, doesn't know how to deal with it. It was a twin flame ascension. I feel there's been renewed hope for one reason or another there's been a lot of healing in your energy a lot of healing in theirs oh i feel like i'm gonna sneeze i woke up with a stuffy nose oh, excuse me oh my gosh guys it's really weird like it wants to come out but it's not coming out i'm sorry my goodness somebody might not want me to tell you this message that was strange it just kind of like took my came on very strong Children could be involved. This person could be staying for the kids. They could be using, um, somebody could be using the kids to keep them. Um, there, or there just could be very childish behavior. This person acts very childish most of the time. Tell me about what they've been up to. What are they doing here? What's going on in their energy spirit? 
you know, they're with a toxic karmic. This person is a player. They keep many options. For a lot of you here, this person keeps many options, but they stay single. They they stay saying that they're single. They never label anything. They never put a label on things. They just uh, keep on playing on, right? I feel play on, play uh. I feel this person here also could stay with some scary, scarily obsessed karmic here um, because of children, but run around playing games and doing the most. So they have somebody at home, but they're always out here playing with other people or, or you know, playing other people, let's say. I feel, Scorpio, this person has really 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 drained your energy at times they can be an energy vampire this person wants to come back for the supply for a lot of you if after you see this person you're intimate with this person whatever you feel off the next day you're just really tired or shaky or you feel funny i've experienced it before where i was really shaky like i felt shaky and and just odd i did not feel right and and honestly it's an energy vampire so if you are intimate with a person or you spend time with them and then you're tired and you're just feeling really down it can kind of feel like the flu um this person draws off your energy and what starts to happen is the longer they stay away from you it's like a, a bloodthirsty animal like they want to come in and get that supply especially if you are a very bright person Person. If your energy is really warm and inviting, this person uh, misses it a lot. I, I, I feel like this person can be a little unstable in their energy, though. It seems to me like what they do is... Uh, obsess over things or they go into periods where they they have to win you back they have to win you back but then they just don't want to change they don't want to do anything different and they fall off for some of you for others this this is the scarily obsessed person is a karmic this person's very selfish. They're very greedy. This is somebody here who has a shit ton of money in the bank and won't take you for dinner or um, buy you anything. Will ask you to split the bill or do whatever. This is that kind of person. This person wants to get rich by all means, I'm hearing. I feel like this is someone who wants to get rich too. They'll do anything to live a certain life or look a certain way. And if that means they have to stay with some um, toxic karmic, then they will. They are talking about you, though. For some of you, this person could be seeing a therapist. They could be going to therapy. They could be talking to family and friends. They could be gossiping about you, or it could be good. I feel like for some of you, this person's getting advice from people around them on what it is that they should do. Now tell me, Spirit, who is this uh, obsessed person? See, somebody could be uh, swept away in love uh, with your person right now. Yeah, it's a very explosive relationship that they're in. I feel like um, your person could have gotten their self wrapped up with a toxic karmic. They did not make the smartest choice. They thought they were making a very smart choice. They thought that the karmic was the easiest, smartest choice because they didn't challenge them or they allowed them to act in bad behavior or whatever the case is. But they have found that that was not the right choice, that th there's lessons here being learned. I feel this person um, has an explosive relationship with somebody else. Now, somebody could take this person on vacation, throw money at them, do everything for them, or promise this person a whole lot. Um, I, I, I really sense here, Scorpio, that there's been some romantic getaway between them and a karmic that you could have found out about or you you seen or that's what's going on right now in their energy. They could be vacationing with some karmic. It's about money. It's about status. And this person is too damn greedy to pay for it for some of you. For others, this person's just greedy with their energy. They could maybe they are generous with money, but greedy with their energy. They're very two-faced. They're saying one thing to you and the other to a karmic or people around them. This person feels like a lost soul. Their heart has hardened. They're going through a bit of a rebirth, a soul death. I wasn't even planning on using these cards. I was guided to them for one reason or another. Yeah, because Spirit wanted us to see here that this person's living a lie, right? They're phony. They're fake. They're in reckless behavior. And period, they're living a lie. This is somebody that is with a karmic 
all out of convenience or for money because they want to look a certain way because they want to get rich at all costs like they don't you know they want a certain lifestyle and this karmic provided it for them or um there's children and they want to portray to have some happy family there's something here to be a good father or mother there's something here like this this person is in re in re reality here living in a lot of regret Tell me about this living a lie, please. Yeah, seven swords. Lie, period. Spirit is telling us the tea. This person is living a damn lie. Whoever you are dealing with here is living a lie. I feel like they want to come in and straighten the record about something. They want to clear up the record. But the thing is, is this person, they may tell you why they've stayed with the karma, why they chose a third party, etc. They may have already done that. Um, for some of you, you already know. You know why they, they do what they do why they decided to work on I just heard work on things I feel like for some of you you were with this person and then they left you and went back to this karmic now this karmic seems to be upside down in their energy I really feel like they can be quite greedy as well they can be very controlling very demanding for some of you this karmic is a mother a mother is involved as well for others this is the mother of this person's children or or something like this I, I feel here um, they are gaining wisdom and within the next three to four weeks the divine could possibly hip them to something or they could have a dream or something like this but this person has been going out partying they possibly are traveling they want to follow their heart they want to come in here and love bomb but they have this reckless ass tell me what are they doing here why are they in this reckless behavior they're in this reckless behavior in Scorpio I feel like you never uh you were never cool with like you always tried to help them better them ask them to change ask them to see themselves in a different way something like this where the, or this person feels like that's what you that you would not tolerate their reckless behavior they're drinking they're partying they're spending money i don't know um women men going out all the time doing whatever it is they do this person wants excessive control that's what they want and it that can be reckless maybe this is a very healthy person otherwise but they need control. They crave control. I feel they do want a passionate new beginning, but they hold their self back because of this lie, this double life they're living. I, this definitely could be your twin, but this person could be married to somebody else or celebrating some union with a karmic, with a third party, and you possibly may hear about this. What, what are their actions going to be before we move on to the all signs? They're trying to juggle around what they should do. They're trying to juggle in their mind what they want to do. They are, it's always a balancing act with this person. They, this is somebody that could have two, three people on the hook. Somebody here who has lots of uh, forks in the oven or whatever that is. And I feel like this person is going to continue to do that heavily burdened. They have burdened their self greatly. This is somebody that is very burdened on thinking about coming back into you because they have got to, they got to be honest. They got to tell you honestly what's been going on and they're afraid to do that. I'm very jealous. I can barely stand it. Will you listen? There are so many things I want to say, but will you hear me? Will you believe me? They also feel here, Scorp, that you're not going to believe them. Like they have just, uh, you know, said it, did it, and did it all. And so what is there to really say is what I feel like a lot of you are thinking. Like what are you, what else could you possibly say? Or what could you say to me that would make this up to me, right? They're nervous is what they are. You make me nervous. Even just thinking about you, I get nervous. I'm not sure what to say or how to act. This person is living a damn lie and they know they have to come in and be honest and open with you, Scorpio, period. And that is why they are so nervous. They are so nervous to come in. So let's move on here and get into um, all the different signs. We're just going to randomly pull. Starting out with Pisces. Scorpio dealing with a Pisces, please, spirit. The thought of you with anyone else drives me crazy. I try not to think about that. 
this person feels like they could go absolutely crazy when they think about you with somebody else. If you're dealing with a Pisces, they are so afraid that you're going to move forward, meet somebody else, and, and live happily ever after, right? I feel like there was definitely, definitely a completion between you and a Pisces, Scorpio. This person's hesitant. They're creeping. They're skeptical. If you are dealing with a Pisces, this is somebody here who is very hesitant to make any action towards you, but very afraid that you are going to move forward with somebody else. Dark night of the soul. Your twin could be experiencing a dark night of the soul, a period of spiritual dissolution, disconnection, and empty emptiness inside. If you're dealing with a Pisces, they are going through a dark night of the soul right now. Right now is not a great time to um, reconnect with them because they have got to get over this. They've got to get through this dark night of the soul, and it can be very overwhelming, especially for 3D people. Libra. Scorpio dealing with a Libra. What does this Libra want to say to my beautiful, sexy, handsome Scorpios? My first boyfriend was a Libra. The way we triggered each other felt too painful, and I didn't understand at the time. Well, I my first Libra, the only Libra I ever dated triggered the hell out of me. I feel here like um, this person is thinking of all the arguing and fights you've had. You've triggered things inside of this Libra because it was you were supposed to. It was about life lessons. It was about learning about yourself. It was about growing and expanding. And and perhaps this person is starting to understand that that all. Although you triggered one another, there was a lot of beauty as well. But if you're dealing with a Libra, they felt very triggered by um, something you did. They could be dealing with children. They could be a narcissist or very, very high narcissistic tendencies. I really, really do not enjoy calling people a narcissist. We say it way too much in society these days. Something like 85% more now than we did in the 80s. That word is used. I, I research narcissism for my coaching. and um, But this person lives in, a, in an illusion. They live in superficial relationships. That's what they live for. Again, inner child healing. Scorpio, there was something about this connection with you and this Libra that was meant to open things up inside you both, open things up inside you and them, heal um, things from your past or heal things, your inner child. This was a faded connection. Right timing. Both souls have to evolve and awaken to this connection that could last a lifetime. Your hard work is now being rewarded. For a lot of you, it has something to do with timing in this Libra. This Libra may have felt like it wasn't the right time, that, that you know, it, they need more time to um, look at their options or, or something or deal. They're dealing with children or somebody they have children with. But at some point, if they do the work, you all could come into union. Gemini, Scorpio dealing with a Gemini. I've never dated a Gemini. There are a few signs that I have no friends that are Geminis, and I, I've never dated one. It's just, I feel there's something behind it. I'd like to research it. <clears throat> I have certain ideas about how relationships should be. I don't know if I can give you what you want right now. I don't know if I can ever give you that. Are you better off without me? Maybe. This person here thinks this, they want to look a certain way. They, they live a lie. This is somebody, if you are dealing with a Gemini, who, who thinks that relationships are supposed to be some sort of way, that a man's supposed to be a man and a woman's supposed to be a woman or something along the lines of this. And maybe you did not fit into the construct, Scorp. And so now they just don't know if they're ever going to be able to give you what, what you need and deserve. There, there are signs, though, there are synchronicities. Um, meeting this person was not by coincidence. It was not by accident. But there's, see, there's major differences between the two of you here. I feel that this this is a situation, if you're dealing with the Gemini, that y'all don't have the same love language. There could be age difference. There could be a race difference. Uh, you know, maybe you're from the diff another side of the tracks. I don't know. But something doesn't seem to be, um, you're not the typical person that this Gemini dates. There's many um, differences, beauty and the beast. Maybe you're very attractive and they don't feel attractive. But you seem to be in a repeti repetitive cycle with them. 
the predictable and the repetitive cycle of on and off relationship can be toxic and hurtful. So why put yourself through such an awful experience? The divine is saying, Scorpio, if you're dealing with a Gemini and you've been back and forth and on and off, is this really worth it? You already know you're going to, you play the same game, you're going to receive the same dumb old prize. And that is a breakup or things not working out. So maybe if you've been in a repetitive cycle with this person, you may want to take um, a look at, is it worth re repeating again? Capricorn. My son with a Capricorn. Scorpio dealing with a Capricorn, please. Scorpio dealing with a Capricorn. Luna is a Capricorn, too, my doggy. I want to return to you. I do. I just want things to be different with us when I do. This Capricorn wants to come back but they want something to change between the two of you. Maybe there was um, a lot of arguing or fighting, or maybe because this person lives in illusion and they have reckless behavior that, that things were really chaotic and toxic. They feel that you're hard to find. You're one of a kind here. They really feel that they're studying you. They're watching you from afar. It, for some of you dealing with a Capricorn, you could have been in the stages of getting to know this person. You could have been just getting to know each other. And um, this person doesn't even know who you really are, right? But they still feel like you are one of a kind. For others, this person studying you right now, seeing what you're doing, they could pull back their energy from you and then study you. People do that all the time to see if you're dating or to see what you're doing, to see if you're a loyal person even though you're not together and you can do whatever you want sometimes people do this weird stuff so I feel like this person is studying you if you're dealing with a Capricorn jealousy jealousy is a major sign of a bad relationship small doses is okay but when it is rolling your connection it may be a sign to let them go this person seems to be very jealous or you have been very jealous in this connection and spirit is saying it's very unhealthy if this connection is you're constantly fighting about other people or um you looked at her or he looked at you or this this and that then that's a sign that something's not quite right that you need to really relationships like that can be filled with a lot of passion but they're very toxic and it can get really out of control with jealousy and when jealousy Jealousy rules your whole entire relationship. Aquarius. Scorpio dealing with an Aquarius. Tell me about this spirit. Tell me about this Aquarius. And what do they have to say to Scorpio? I dream of you. Period. You're in my dreams. I dream of you. I, I, I visit you in my dreams. I feel connected to you. Um, we, we hook up in the 5D. You know, they're plotting, they're scheming, but this is somebody who is very controlling, has a lot of bad influences around them. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, they are um, a manipulator. But again, we have voodoo, cursed, hypnotized. I'm telling you, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, they feel you've put some spell on them or like maybe you practice black magic or something. This is somebody who may not understand spirituality at all. They may look at spirituality as like something dark, you know. They're heavily burdened. This person um, clings to unhealthy relationships, though, and they have old baggage. They have a lot of baggage that they need to release, but haven't. And that probably was the problem in your connection is they were not ready to let go of these bad influences, this toxic behavior. Tell me about Scorpio and an Aquarius spirit. Highs and lows. Karmic love is often passionate and fiery one cold and distant the next usually representing unhealed aspects of both of you so for a lot of you there were highs and lows in this connection with this Aquarius when it was good it was great when it was hot it was like third degree burns hot but when it was cold uh, it was like fucking crickets you never heard from this person they wouldn't reach out when they were in it they were in it when they weren't they weren't and that was that the, there were a lot of highs and lows between you and this Aquarius spirit saying that it is something that needs to be healed inside of both of you Virgo. I'm a Virgo rising. Let's talk about Scorpio and a Virgo spirit, please. Scorpio and Virgo. I wish we could move into a better space. 
I'm not sure what to do. This Virgo really wants to move into a better place with you, really wants to move into a better space. I feel like this is a person here who um, is afraid to take chances, is afraid to live outside the box. This person seems to be trying to ground themselves. They felt it was necessary to take a breather. But the thing is, Scorpio, is this Virgo may be a waste of your time right now. You may be prolonging the inevitable. The inevitable. This is a situation that maybe you all might not be able to bring it back together. Or something about your connection is, is very, very toxic. Or very, this person's very cold or very drawn back. And, and that they're not going to change anytime soon. I'm sorry, but I feel if you're dealing with a Virgo, you could be wasting your time on trying. If this person comes back in, it may end exactly the way it started. I feel that you um, may need to ask yourself, is it worth it all? Yeah, the divine is asking you to look at your attachment style. Get to know your attachment patterns so you can be more conscious in your romantic relationships and stop self-sabotaging this person could be a self-sabotager um one two maybe you got really attached to them score maybe that's something you do in relationships and and if there's abandonment issues we've all been there with abandonment issues but maybe it's time now to take a look at why you attach yourself to the kind of people and things that you do the divine is asking leo tell me about scorpio and a Leo, please. Scorpio and a Leo. Are you going to reject me? Are you mad at me? Uh, There's a, a Leo here with a big ego. Never. I feel like this is somebody here who is afraid to come on in because they are afraid that you will reject them. They don't know if you're mad at them or not. So this Leo is holding back, right? I feel like they feel that you are fed up. They're, they're, they feel like you don't care anymore, but not that you are, but this person feels like you are hard to please. Like maybe everything they did for you was never enough. This person is a rule breaker, though. They're in non-traditional connections, and, and maybe that's what you all had was a non-traditional connection, or that's what this person wanted with you, and you wanted more, so you all are no longer, right? Pretty simple. What you if, you if you want one thing and they want another and you can't make it work, then it might be time to be on down the road. This Leo has a, cheated, a cheating heart. If you are cheated on, it's likely negative emotions are running high. You must on be honest with yourself if it's worth saving or to just walk away. This is why I guess the Leo wants to know if you're mad. You may have found out about a third party. You may have found out about cheating of some sort. So they want to come in and find out if you're mad. But they also are afraid of your rejection. So uh, this person here is afraid to make any moves towards you. But they are a cheater. So be aware of that. Sagittarius. My baby girl is a Sag. She's actually a Scorpio Sag cusp. Oh boy, it's a fiery one. She's a fiery one, let me tell you. This, my youngest daughter. I feel so damaged and jaded. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they feel very damaged and very jaded. They may have been through a lot of things in their life, score, but it may have been not easy for them. I feel like this person acts out of a unhealed place, acts out of a wounded place. They could go out a lot, socialize a lot, but again, dark night of the soul, re, um, a rebirth, self-discovery. This person is socializing a lot and going out a lot, but there's something changing inside of them. There's something deep within them that is changing, um, that is developing. They're going through some kind of uh, rebirth. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they could have control issues. Whether you are being controlled or the one controlling, recognize that you are being asked to play and then graduate from, wait, and then gradually serve for each other's evolution i feel like there are control issues okay either you are controlling or they feel you're controlling scorp or they are 
And, and so this person is really taking a look at their self and, and going through this self-discovery period where they're asking their self questions like this, like, am I too controlling? Did I act A, B, and C with Scorpio or, or uh, whatever? But they're in a dark night and they're feeling very damaged, very jaded right now. So it may not be the right time to reconnect with them if you're dealing with a Sag Aries. Let's see. Scorpio dealing with a Aries, please, spirit. I'm hiding the way I truly feel. If you're dealing with an Aries, they are um, not expressing their feelings. Again, hence living a lie. This is somebody that's living a lie. They're acting like they're happy with whatever they're doing or they're happy in whatever connection they're in or whatever reckless behavior, but they're really not happy. I feel this is somebody that's very careless. If you're dealing with an Aries, this person plays games. They're careless. They're cool with whatever. They're very neglectful at times. This person is confident or they, they try to pretend like they're confident. They look at you like you're optimistic, like you're successful. They do have feelings for you, but they have been hiding them. If you're dealing with an Aries, I feel this is someone who is definitely hiding behind material things or hiding behind um, other lovers. They're trying to fill their cup to try to replace what you gave them, but I don't know how well it's working. Gossip and opinions. There is so much outside influence that's affecting this connection. It's delaying and preventing it from ever becoming anything serious. For some of you here, there's people around this person gossiping about you. They could tell people a lot. I feel this is someone who socializes a lot as well. They're always out here running around trying to put on a mask, trying to pretend like they're somebody they're not. Um, and they could talk a whole lot. They could tell people a lot. I feel there's a lot of um, outside influences on this person on whether or not they're going to come back in and that needs to be fixed in this person's life Scorpio a Scorpio dealing with a Scorpio I bet that was an intense love tell me about Scorpio and Scorpio please <clears throat> I can feel you I can't feel you like I used to, but when I do, I miss you so much, it hurts. This is somebody here who is starting to realize that maybe you're moving forward. They don't feel you like they once did. They're not feeling your energy as strongly because you may be moving forward, but they miss you a lot when they do. When they start to really think about um, what's happened between the two of you here, this Scorpio misses you. But there's ongoing wounds. You all clearly had a lot of fighting, a lot of disagreements, and you were not on the same page. This Scorpio is working on having a uh, abundant life. I feel like you are starting to know your self-worth now, Scorpio. You are working on yourself. You are working on valuing yourself. And this person respects that and, and hates it at the same time. The more you value yourself, the more confidence you have inside of you, um, the, the less games this person can play with you. So, you know, they do miss you, but they still feel um, angry or there's still ongoing fights happening between the two of you now. This connection is so intense it almost feels real. You cling to their good qualities and avoid seeing the negative. Is it love or an addiction? So for some of you here, this became your addiction. It was very hot. It was very intense, but it, there was so much, so many other things going on that um, you may ask yourself, was this even real love or is this my addiction? Is this person my, you know, vice? Do I have to go go to rehab to get off this person, right? I feel like for a lot of you, that is what you're asking yourself right now or should be. Taurus, my other baby girl, tell me about my people. Tell me about Taurus. I love Tauruses. I still want you. I'm fighting my feelings for you. This is somebody here, once again, living a lie. This Taurus is walking around, projecting, acting like they don't care, acting like, you know, whatever. Who's Scorpio? I don't know. And, and really, in reality, they are fighting the feelings that they have for you. They're trying to make it go away. 
they feel like you gave them a tempting offer or you're very tempting but there could be a lot of temptation in their energy there was faded events they feel like this was a faded relationship and they feel like there's forces beyond their control between the two of you they may dream of you as well there may be some 5d activity things going on that this taurus is keeping um, to their self they're not even talking to you about because they don't quite understand it mana love mania love this is the kind of love that leads to madness and obsession often wanting to a reinforcement of your own value which can lead to codependency for a lot of you this was a very strong connection with this taurus it was obsession though a lot of obsession obsessive thoughts between the two of you both of you going round and round in your mind both of you obsessing both of you feeling really really intensely for one another it could have gotten um super out of control and super codependent at one point cancer Scorpio dealing with a cancer last but not least tell me about what this cancer wants to say to Scorp you are everything I ever wanted and I feel like I messed everything up I'm not sure how to fix it mm, this cancer knows that they made a lot of mistakes they do feel like you are everything to them they do feel like you're everything they ever wanted Scorpio but they've done the very most to you this could be your twin for sure if you're dealing with your with your can with a cancer and look at this we have twin flame and karmic ties but they are in karmic relationships they are dealing with a karmic or they have karmic people around them that um, makes it hard for them to come in and be nor be their self and be open and honest with you if you're dealing with a cancer i feel like these karmic people are most of the issue um their influence on them or this karmic that they're with for money or for clout or for children lusting is it love or lust the sex can be out of this world but do you really have a deep connection what does this person really add to your life besides good sex spirits trying to ask you here if you are dealing with a cancer and there's it's filled with lust it's filled with sex it's very intense but that's really all they're giving you what value do they really even add to your life what are you even missing right um you can have good sex with anybody and if you're hanging on just because of the intimate the intimacy why you're making love but then all the other times they're nowhere to be found or giving you nothing the divine is asking you to um really take a look at that right i hope everybody has the most beautiful and blessed day. Mwah, mwah. Love and light.